Hey guys, well going. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to work on this 2016 Jeep Cherokee. So this is what we're gonna do on this car. So if your car look like this, doesn't matter if it's 2019 or 16. Once your car look like this, it will be the same procedure of changing your battery. So today we're gonna to show you how to jump start your car and also how to change your battery. So you come up to your car, try to unlock the door, the remote dead, you will come right here with your key. Sorry for the noise, I'm just gonna talk a little louder to get the noise, so you'll pull this like this, take out the blade, push your blade in here, and you will turn it. And this will get the car to unlock and once the car is unlocked, you want to come underneath here and you will see this right here. So you want to pull this to open your hood. Once you pull that, your hood is going to come open. Then you're going to come in front, lift it up a little bit and you search for the thing under here to, to um, pull the hood. So right here, you want to pull this right here. So right here, you pull this, that, do that, and it unhook from right here. So your battery is going to be located right here, your positive cable right here, and your negative cable right here. So you can see a plus sign right there on the battery, a negative sign right there on the, on the battery. So you connect your negative to negative, positive to positive, from whatever source you jump in the car from. And the next step is crank your car up as how you would normally start it. So that's it for you to jump the car. So let's get into changing the battery now. So we're gonna get our 10 millimeter. And once again, all the tools I use in here will be in the description. All right, so the tools we're gonna use is gonna be a 10 millimeter. So this ratchet handle and this do the same job just gonna start it with it so you guys can see link will be in the description for all the tools i use 10 millimeter you want to start from their negative cable just in case you touch the body of the car it won't sparks so you want to start from your negative cable let's try and stop sharting out anything all right so that's basically how you would use this And then you just want to twist and take this off like that. Make sure it's not touching the, the terminal. Then you can go over to the positive cable right here. And it's going to be 10 millimeter. So if you notice, you have three 10 millimeter, but it's this one closer to the, the, the battery pole. So once that's done, go ahead and remove this also. Down in there, the next thing you're gonna need is an extension. Put on your 10 millimeter. Down in here, you wanna remove that um, bracket. That's good right there. Take out the battery. This is a this is the part the parts number of the battery is H7 A A7 dash A G M. That's the parts number for the battery. Link will be in the description also for the battery. So we got the new battery right here. And this is gonna be a 97, no 94 
or the H7 as you see I read out earlier in the video so I just need to put this down there make sure your positive line up positive go over there and then put on your each shield but before we do that before we put the each shield on we're going to put this on right here this is your your battery holder So we're going to tighten it down. So we're going to need this and the extension 10 millimeter. Link will be in the description for the tools. Guys, if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Help me help you. So you just want to make sure the cutouts and that right here, those two cutouts, they go to this side of the vehicle. That's why it was giving me some trouble just now. But got that sorted out. Go ahead and put this on. dirty you can go ahead and change that if it's clean you can go if your terminal is dirty you can go ahead and change it now I'm cleaning so make sure even though it, I touch it and it sparks a little bit but that's okay it's just because both of them touch at the same time but that's not a big deal go ahead put on your, your positive cable and then tighten that down on your negative cable it might sparks a little bit but that's normal so you don't have to go too crazy if that happened to you all right so now that's done we're gonna put on some battery protector some rust protector corrosion protector I should say that help you not to get your battery corroded. Next step, we're gonna crank the car right here. So let's get inside. The camera rolling, I'm not cutting it. So you guys can see. We're on the inside of the vehicle. Go ahead and I just like to turn the ignition on for like a few seconds, maybe three or four seconds. You can come in and crank it right up, but it doesn't matter guys please go ahead like comment share subscribe to the channel help me help you so as you see right there it started up no light on the dash your radio might off the time is now 139 right there so the time is 139 and let's see if we can set the time go to clock so you want to press more and then you can go to clock i think down here is where you tune the the clock from so i'm gonna hit more it's setting so basically more you press more right here the plus sign right here plus more it's setting go there Set time. The time is now 140. 1.40 p.m. And that's it. The time is set. Peace out. See you next time. Please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Help me help you.